The most widely observed Jewish holiday is soon upon us. Rabbi Samuel Kohan is here to tell us more about the events going on for Passover. Rabbi, it's so nice to have you here again. Great to be here. Chag Sameach, a happy holiday of Passover. Uh, Pesach too? is a great festival. Yes. And as you see, I came um, dressed for that. I lo oh my gosh, I didn't even realize it. It's a matzah tie. <laughs> it is. It tastes exactly like matzah. <laughs> it probably oh my does. <laughs> it probably has a little more uh, humid. It's a little more maybe, moisture. Maybe yeah. a little more moisture. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite as dry. <laughs> humid. Air is humid, not, not food. Anyway, tell us a little bit about Passover. So Passover is the great festival of freedom. It's the time when we celebrate not only Jewish freedom, the liberation of the Israelite slaves, under the leadership of Moses from Egypt, Egypt and the Pharaoh uh, 3,200 years ago, but also the whole concept of freedom, why it's important to become free of slavery, to try to make sure that everyone in the world is able to be free at this time. So it's an extremely important festival. And how is it that we celebrate uh, this Passover, the freedom? I am so glad you asked. Yes. <laughs> so, Passover is in some ways the great teaching festival as well. We have what's called a Seder, which is an ordered meal, a structured meal, in which every element, all the ritual foods, and what we drink, smell, touch, all of it teaches us about freedom. We use a book called the Haggadah that tells the story of the Israelites' freedom from slavery. And then we have all these different symbols. I, you know, in your <coughs> This is called a Seder plate, and plate. on it you have all the ritual food. So it's a springtime festival, Passover. You always have green vegetables. It reminds us that this is the beginning of a spring. Here in Tucson, we've had a fabulous spring. Mm -hmm. We have um, a bitter herb to remind us of the bitterness of slavery, maror, a roasted egg because it's a springtime festival, mm -hmm. and it's a ritual celebration. The Paschal shank bone, that was the lamb bone, reminding us of the ways our ancestors celebrated the Passover. Um, cup of wine, we drink four cups of wine or juice, one for each of the promises of freedom that God made to the Israelites in the book of Exodus. And then a haroset, kind of a chopped mixture that's delicious, it's actually apples and sometimes other fruits, nuts, mixed with wine and other sweet things that you use to make the bitter not okay. taste so bitter, but to remind us of the mortar that was used in the store cities that our ancestors built for Pharaoh. And then matzah, this is called the festival of matzah. And it's the bread that our ancestors made when they fled slavery rapidly and didn't have time to let the bread rise. And it is um, dry, and some people really love matzah. Mm -hmm. And if they do, they can have mine. Cause <laughs> You're not crazy about it? I am not crazy about matzah. You like it on your tie, not on your plate. Yeah, I think that's the best place for it. Matzah is actually the only thing that I know of that tastes exactly like the packaging it comes It kind of oh does, but that's I kind of like that much. Yeah, no, a yeah. lot of people like it. Um, you are actually supposed to taste it because you're supposed to remember what the taste of slavery was, what all of this means. And we pray that everyone in the world can be free. In every generation, it teaches us in the Passover Haggadah, we are each supposed to remember the experience as though we ourselves had come out of slavery in Egypt. You know, it's got to be personal, us and our children, not something that happened a long time yeah. ago to people. Right, and speaking of children too, there's there's something fun for them. Well, they, they yeah. enjoy the ceremony, of course, but they also enjoy uh, the afikoman. Absolutely, it was probably your favorite part. Yes, I it was. Right and the afikoman, at the beginning of the Seder, we hide a piece of matzah, and then kids try to find it, and then they get a prize. So they compete to look for it. Now, my family has a special tradition around the afikoman. My dad always hid it like the day before in some unbelievably devious place. And so it was a huge competition to try to find <laughs> it. And um, I had a close friend who came to our Seder every year, and he didn't find it until he was like 25 years old. <laughs> and he jumped around like he was four. Oh, yeah. He was so excited. So um, it's really fun. It keeps kids involved. And then you have it for dessert. So, it's, so everything is there designed to teach every age what it means to come out of slavery to freedom and to remind us that not everybody is free right now. You're not supposed to invite lots of guests to your Seder. We say, let all who are hungry come and eat and celebrate. So we invite anybody who doesn't have a place to go. It's very traditional. Um, at Temple Manual, we have a big community Seder that we invite everybody to come to on the second night of Passover. That's uh, Saturday the 23rd. Um, and it's a full Seder with a delicious kosher meal and all kinds of special treats. And Rabbi, before we run out of time, I want to make sure we do talk about also you have a dance presentation coming. We do. We have, uh, we're really delighted. Uh, this is a, a kind of powerful element. This coming Sunday at 4 p.m. at the University of Arizona in the Eller Dance Theater, there's a program called In the Shadow of Dreamers, and it's a remembrance of the liberation of the Auschwitz concentration camp. This um, 
dance was choreographed for the 70th anniversary of liberation of Auschwitz. And so it's being used now at the Elder Theater this Sunday as a fundraiser for the Holocaust History Center, the brand new Holocaust History Center here in Tucson, which is incredible. Um, I happen to have been at the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz in Poland last year, so I had a chance to talk about it from a personal perspective. It'll be a series of really magnificent dance. If you know the dance program at the U of A, it's the top one it in the country. It is top, yep. So I want, you know, hopefully everybody can come and support it because there's a lovely reception. It'll support the Holocaust History Center and make the Holocaust meaningful, I think, for a whole new generation. Well, Rabbi, I always thank you so much for coming for the education, for information on the events that we can um, attend. And I'm going to remind everybody, of course, how they can get in touch with you. So thank you again. You are very welcome, and you're welcome to have as much I'll try matzah as yes. you want. Yes, <laughs> matzah for Alex. Now, you can be a part of the Temple Emmanuel Passover Seder, April 23rd at 6 p.m. For more details, call 327-4501 for information, or go online to te2son.org.